Hello everyone, my name is Zard and welcome back to another video and today I'll be taking a look at LEGO Star Wars set number 75376. This is the 654 piece Starship Collection Tantiv 4. This is a 25, 25th anniversary LEGO Star Wars set, uh, one of three Starship Collection formerly MIDI scale sets um, released in 2024, those being the Invisible Hand, as well as the Millennium Falcon, the Invisible Hand, sort of more of a obscure one in scale to the other two, the Tantive, and of course the Falcon from the original trilogy, this one being from the first scene of Star Wars, a very, I'd, I feel like, iconic ship. And this one is based off that first Tantive that we saw. Um, this set costs $100, so that's Canadian, uh, which is $10 less than the Falcon, but the Falcon also has 921 pieces, and every part in that set is a print. This set cannot boast that. All the details in this set are stickers, so those ones on this, you'll see another one on the other side. There are eight right there, and that's pretty much it. Of course, you do have prints. You have the Tantive as well as the 25th anniversary brick, that brick being used to death pretty much with every set this year. Um, but right off the bat, my first thoughts on this set. Now, from the pictures, I was like everyone really, I would say, a bit cautious on this one. It wasn't necessarily my favorite one. It wasn't my favorite Lego set I had seen. And um, I definitely had very high hopes for these MIDI scale sets for 2024, considering that the Superstar Destroyer from last year was one, if not my favorite set released last year for LEGO Star Wars. And uh, I was very excited for these sets, and I thought from the descriptions of them, the names of them, they'd be quite interesting. I was excited to get a cheaper, smaller, and well-detailed version of the Falcon, and that can be brought over to this, the Tantive, as well as the Invisible Hand. Building this set, I was pleasantly surprised by how much I enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was a very nice building experience. Of course, the white and red is different to other things in the Star Wars line. Of course, I feel like it has been getting a bit more colorful, and the shelves definitely got more color with the release of the Ahsoka wave last year, which in comparison to everything else was an extremely colorful wave of LEGO Star Wars sets. Um, but um, I really liked this set, and by the end of it, I believe this was the last one I had built. and. I realized how much I really liked this set and how it might just be my favorite uh, MIDI scale set released this year. I don't know what it is about this set, but I absolutely love it. I really like the length of this set. I think it's sizable enough that I would say it sort of has the value for its price. Um, but the issue I think with this set is the fact that it has stickers. Now I'm, I have no issue with the inclusion of stickers in sets, but I do start to have an issue with them when it comes to these 18 plus sets, especially something like a UCS Venator or Razor Crest or sets like that where you saw stickers. I think that's a bigger issue than this. But I think the biggest issue with this having stickers is not the fact that it has stickers, it's the fact that the Falcon has only prints. Um, and I think that's the issue there is that this costs $10 less is almost 300 pieces less and It has all stickers instead of prints. I think there There's definitely not as much value there. I don't think there's as much value in this as there is the Falcon um, Which just of course costs $10 more and I would say for value wise I'd prefer to go with that one looks I think the Falcon is the Falcon. Everyone knows the Millennium Falcon. Um, but I do really like this set. I think it'll look great with the Super Star Destroyer. Of course, the scales are totally out of whack there, but with all these sets, there's no real scale whatsoever. Um, but I do really quite like this one. So the stand here is very similar to other MIDI scale sets. Um, now, the stands on these differ in a few ways. The connection points, of course, the Falcon 
angles the set a little bit, but their main idea is there. The stem of it, how it stands up is the exact same. The base is the exact same, which I do like with consistency, which we don't always see with the Lego Star Wars line, but we do see with these stands as well as something like the helmet line, which seems pretty much dead at this point. Um, the printed 25th anniversary brick, it has R2 there in blue, the advertising that's been used a ton for this year, then 25th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars, you can see Tantive 4 written there on the stand. How this is attached is clips um, at the top, which that's not the best way to take it off, but it's sort of just ripped off there, but it can just attach right in there. Um, it's very simple. Um, so it just sort of clicks in there. So you can see the underside of those stickers. I do appreciate the underside detailing of all of these MIDI scale sets. I think they do a nice job of detailing it, especially in this area, which is such, has so much detail and is very heavy and with its parts. Having that detailed, I think, is a nice addition. One of my favorite parts of this is really that you have the one escaped escape pod with C-3PO and R2-D2. You have the uh, cannons there at the top as well as the bottom. The detailing at the side of the um, like head of the Tantive is detailed there on both sides. It's very symmetrical throughout it. It is symmetrical really, I guess, except for that escaped escape pod. There are the stickers right there. Um, they are easy to put on. I don't think they vary too much in color. Um, and there is the back with the thrusters. You can see a few tan Technic pins in there, which is not ideal, um, but I don't think it throws away from the look all that much, but you can see them throughout. So that I think is an important point to note is that you can see a few undesirable colors throughout the build, less than a lot of sets, but um, still it does have that. Um, and um, overall, I think the Tantive is very well done. Um, I think it looks really nice, and I think the shape, of course, has been debated on whether it's not correct or not. I think it looks all right. I think my biggest issue with this is that it costs only $10 less than the Falcon, but with the, ten, with the Falcon, you get 300 more pieces for your $10, as well as all printed parts. So moving forward into these sets, if I want to make some um, improvements to them, I would like to see the inclusion of all printed parts to these. I think they add value to the set, um, and that's that. I don't personally think there's a need for a minifigure in these sets. I think it would be a nice inclusion, but I definitely don't find it to be something necessary. I'd much prefer the value be put in printed parts, especially these, which are all right. They, I think there is a bit of variation between the white that's on the sticker and the white of the piece. It's definitely not the biggest um, variation that I've seen with colors of stickers and the piece that they are put on, um, but there is some variation there that I think is, should be taken into account before making a choice if you should purchase this set or not. So I don't know if I can recommend this set at its current $100 price, but as it goes down a little bit, as I'm sure it will, I think um, you get down to like the 15 off, uh, 20 off price range, and I think you're in a good range to get this set. I definitely recommend this for Star Wars fans if you do not own a playset. Tantive, if you own that, I don't think you need this set. Um, but um, if you do want this and want a smaller, more displayable, I would say Tantive with the size of it, um, then I would definitely recommend this set, but I would hold off on its current price. I think it's a very well done Lego Star Wars set, and I think it's a really good midi scale set. I just think the value here is not there with something comparable in the same subline as the Falcon, which I think has gr much greater value than this. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.